Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tale of Two Smitties. This week we're going to show you Dad's last few days here in Texas. We put in the Cubic Mini wood stove. He helped us mount an underbody uh, tool storage under the bus. And then we had a little fun too. For his birthday, we went to a luxury movie theater nearby and we checked out the SMU Memphis football game. So let's get into it. Welcome to the Tale of Two Smitties. We're Cody and Laura, and if you're new here, let's catch you up. Before winter, we bought a school bus, a big yellow school bus. Cody flew out to Phoenix with Laura's dad, Grant, to make the drive back to downtown Dallas. Since then, we've been plugging away on our schoolie bus conversion, turning a bus into a tiny home on wheels. We've had help from both of our dads, Cody's dad, Wayne, and Laura's dad, Grant. So, if you'd like to follow along on our journey towards bus life, click subscribe and sit back, relax, and enjoy the tale of two smitties. All right, so because it was the last few days, we were all kind of doing different tasks at the same time. And what we've tried to do in a lot of these videos is show you how we did a specific thing. We're gonna take uh, bits of a couple different days and show you how we did the wood stove, and then same thing with the underbody storage. And then dad's birthday was certainly a lot of fun. It was right before he left and, and we had a pretty good time. So. Uh, we'll show you that as well. We had it narrowed down to two popular options and we ended up going with the Cubic Mini in the end. We went with their Grizzly model, which is made for uh, tiny homes over 200 square feet. They do make a cub version for under 200 square feet, but after talking with uh, the rep on the phone, that's really meant for really well insulated tiny homes and our bus is insulated, but it's not super insulated. So we went with the Grizzly. It was also a plus for Laura because it's a Canadian company. We will include links to both of these things down below in the description. So if you're interested in learning more about it or getting one for yourself, certainly check it out. Okay, so we chose the location of our wood stove based on kind of where we wanted to get the most heat. It's, it's middle-ish of the bus, so it'll heat the whole bus, but we do have it tucked slightly back towards the bed, and that was on purpose. Uh, a, it's easier to get up in the middle of the night and fiddle with the, with the fire if we have to, uh, but also it'll heat that area more, uh, which makes sense. So with this model, you need to have clearance 20 inches on all sides. And if you can't have that clearance, you have to have a heat shield. And so we're gonna put up a heat shield uh, behind on the back on the wall of the bus uh, and maybe on the corner of the uh, upper cabinet as well. So we started with drilling a hole in the, in the ceiling. And I'll be honest, dad did most of this project. Uh, this was one he did right before he left. And so we put a hole in the ceiling after we figured out where our wood stove was gonna go. So we ended up going with a porcelain tile underneath uh, because it's a really great heat to Raleigh, come on. Hi, sweet girl, hi. We chose this tile in particular mainly because uh, we really liked the way it looked. Uh, having a larger tile we thought was a plus. Uh, it's a very flat tile, so mounting the stove to it wasn't a problem. Uh, and the way we ended up doing that was drilling through the tile and then using um, a nut and a bolt to secure the four feet to the cabinet underneath. The flue pipe for the stove, uh, we had to buy separately. It's a three inch flue pipe. It has a connector to connect it to the five inch flue pipe. And actually uh, the three inch goes all the way through the five inch. So the three inch goes all the way up to the top. And then the five inch helps insulate the pipe. When the temperature gets too cool in that pipe, creosote can build up. And so uh, having it insulated helps keep the temperature up and, and make sure everything kind of burns out of the pipe. And then there's some metal flashing on the ceiling uh, where it goes through the ceiling. And then the flue pipe on the roof of the bus needs to go 12 inches above the highest part of the roof. So that gave us about 18 inches above the roof um, and it has a cap on the top. So one of the positives of the Cubic Mini is that uh, it's made really well. It holds its heat uh, for such a small unit, uh, it really does a good job heating. The downside is that it's a small unit, so you're kind of left using small pieces of wood, and uh, we'll be interested to see kind of how that plays out as far as keeping a fire going. This is a really popular wood stove, so I don't anticipate it being uh, a problem, but I guess we'll find out. If you guys have one, would you share your experience with us, or if you've used one before, drop it in the comments below. Let us know what you think of the Cubic Mini Grizzly. Okay, Dad also helped us mount the underbody tool storage. 
and we did that using a unistrut or super strut and then hangers, nuts and bolts. So very similar to the way we did the gray tank and the propane box. Um, we also finished on the nuts and bolts uh, with some Loctite. I think it's Loctite Red. And uh, we'll link that in the description below too. With all the rattling, uh, certainly nuts and bolts can be prone to vibration and coming loose over time. And so this Loctite is going to help prevent that. Uh, we also went back and did that. There were some suggestions uh, previously uh, that we go back and do that on the gray tank. And we have done that. So Friday was dad's birthday, and when Laura and I used to live downtown in Victory Park, we used to go to the movie theater down there, and uh, so we decided to hop on the train with dad and take him down there to see a movie for his birthday. Had a really good time just hanging out, the three of us, and doing a little relaxing. And then on Saturday, it was SMU's football game against Memphis, and Laura and I actually took a trip to Memphis last year to go see that game. College game day was there. It was kind of an all-day thing. It was a night game uh, on ABC or something. It was a really fun day. SMU ended up losing in the end. And uh, this year, we were happy to be able to stay here and see that game. And SMU got a little bit of revenge. Come on. Let's go! Man, it, it made it so good. Then it was time to say goodbye to dad. And uh, before we did, uh, I had to work and dad was at the bus kind of finalizing a few things. And so dad shot a little video um, that we'll put in here. Well, I have to say goodbye to Tots. Today's my last day. So it's been a, a fun trip. It's been a, a blessing to be here to be able to help Laura and Cody. I've enjoyed my time. Uh, I've just especially enjoyed the time spending with them. So, uh, yes, today, Saturday, is the last day of work here. I'm leaving tomorrow, so um, I will say goodbye. So we've had a great time. Uh, I've really enjoyed all that we've been able to do. Uh, what a blessing it's been to be able to be part of this and to help them. Um, this was the last big thing that we did, the storage box. Um, it's, yeah, just walking around and seeing everything that we did was just a fun, fun experience. And I'm so excited for them. Um, I'm so proud of Cody and Laura, uh, them undertaking this and just having the joy in their hearts to want to do this and be free out in the out in the beauty of God's creation out here. So it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be bittersweet not to be able to see the end the end result. I mean, I'm, I know I will when they travel up, you know, Jersey area, but uh, not to be able to be there to put the f final touches on and send them off down the road. So the generator here was a big thing. Uh, it was a big job that we did water fill tank here that was nice nice to get that tank done of course the water heater putting the water heater on um, yes the gray water tank we don't want to forget the gray water tank what a job that was but it worked we're also giving this TikTok thing a try so check us out over there at tale of two smitties as well and we'll connect there all right, next week's going to be a little bit different. Uh, I can't tell you why now. Things are a little crazy here, but stay tuned. Uh, follow us on Instagram, at Tale of Two Smitties. We'll have a little bit more information on there this week, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys next week. So you've heard us say this before, but there's a reason I'm saying it this week. Make sure you're subscribed and you ring the bell for notifications because with next week's videos being a little bit different, uh, it's going to come out a little differently and you want to make sure you get notifications. So go ahead right now, take a sec, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. Hey, you know what? Smash the like button while you're at it. What the heck? And uh, we'll see you guys next week.